Bhagavad Gita, text 2.25 It is said that the self is invisible, inconceivable and unchangeable. Knowing this, you should not mourn for the body. Here, Krishna repeats himself for emphasis. The subject of the soul is difficult to comprehend. And thus Krishna speaks of its nature again and again, invoking various words to describe it. This time he supports what he has said thus far, referring to scriptural authority, as implied by the use of the word ujjati. This verse concludes Krishna's description of the soul with the word tasmat, therefore. Because the soul is, as Krishna has described, Arjuna's lamentation is not appropriate once he understands its nature, viditva. Next, Krishna states that even if for argument's sake one accepts the soul to be non-eternal, still one should not lament for it.